Waslico ISD athletic competition is headed east. Earlier in the year, the official biannual UIL realignment took place, announcing the districts for the 2016-2017 and 2017-2018 school years. As projected, Waslico and Waslico East moved to the Lower Valley where they will compete in District 326A, which many are already calling the meat grinder in football. A lot of people call a lot of things, you know, I, I call it brutal. <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. The Panthers and Wildcats joined both Harringen schools, Brownsville schools, Rivera and Hanna, while San Benito and Los Fresnos are also in the loop and represent the last two Valley towns in Class 6A with one high school. It was a big night for the West Coast. West Local High makes a return to Cameron County for district play after five years. And there is the play I just talked about. And this will be the first rodeo for West Local East. Some epic battles all across the board have taken place in both non-district and playoff competition, and more is expected when both WISD schools go to work. It's funny because I texted uh, Coach Comer over at East and, and I said, man, I thought we were in a tough district already, you know, and, and he kind of, you know, laughed back to the text. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I'm excited. Honestly, I'm excited. I'm excited for a new challenge. And, you know, the district that we just left was extremely tough. I mean, you look at teams like Edinburgh and PSJ North and, you know, teams that we were playing, you know, day in and day out uh, or night in and night out, I thought really helped us, especially come playoff time. And, um, you know, I expect the same thing. You know, now you're going in into um, you know, an atmosphere with, you know, a Harlingen packed house or Harlingen South and, you know, those Brownsville schools are, they're always tough to play in. And so, um, you know, regardless, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, it's competition and, and that's why we're here. Student athletes will get their first crack at the new competition when volleyball, football and cross country get underway in the fall. At Westlico East, boys cross country and track and field head coach Tom Owens is confident his runners will adjust just fine and continue the solid success at the high school. It's a challenge and we, we challenge our kids and the kids here at East usually step up to the challenge. Uh, you know, as soon as the alignment, alignment came out, it's like, okay, here we go. You know, 32 6 a let's get ready. And um, we use it to kind of motivate and challenge our kids. And, you know, we've been in a bunch of different districts the last few years. You know, we went from 4A to 5A to 6A. And every time uh, we step up, to a new district, it seems to, to work out okay for us. As soon as the realignment was announced, the hot topic was football. Of the eight teams in the new district, five clinched playoff spots in 2015, four were district champs, four advanced to the second round, and two into the third. And that's why many colorful and strong adjectives are being used to describe the division. We know what we got ahead of us. Uh, you know, we're gonna take the challenge and. One thing Wesco East is going to do is we're going to go out and play football. Making that positive play. For us, we, we, we just think one game at a time. We coach as hard as we can and see what happens. But uh, we're you know we're not a we're not uh, afraid of playing anybody. The competition is expected to be just as intense on the hardwood. Three of the four Wesco ISD programs are fresh off playoff appearances. The Lady Panthers defeated two 32-6A squads en route to the Sweet 16 for the third time in four years. We got a full house here tonight, it's gonna be a good one. That includes a road win against state-ranked Harningen and a classic 6A regional quarterfinal clash. Proof is in the pudding, the Lady Panthers adjust just fine when it comes to the realignment moves. Up off the glass, good! Nothing changes, uh, the discipline's still there, our expectations, um, you know, I think grow more and more every single season, um, so really it's up to the kids um, and what they bring. The boys squad were a dominant force as a District 32-5A representative posting four district championships in six years from 2006 to 2012, facing half of the competition they'll see in the next two years. But as an overall athletic program, Westlake High has produced numerous district championships and has had playoff success despite moving from one division to another. That impressive resume is all the motivation they need going forward. We've been fortunate here in Westlake. We've got great kids in every program and, and you know, we've been able to excel um, you know, for the past few years. We've won over 10 titles um, throughout the numerous sports that we have. 
and this year we did it again and and you know it just just goes back to the quality of kids that we have playing in a district with brownsville also means heavy duty competition for west Lico isd soccer appearances at regional and state tournaments are normal for brownsville hannah and rivera which just last year captured a state championship at the boys level it's going to be a situation where where hannah is 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 in the district now uh, Rivera's in the district. Every game is going to be a playoff game. That's the way we take it, you know, and we and it's going to get us ready for the playoffs. So, on the bright side, the Wildcats are among the most successful soccer programs in the valley, securing a playoff spot nine times since the campus began varsity play in 2003. So they're going to have to adjust. Also, they're going to have to adjust to West Lakota soccer. Some powerful and motivational words by our West Lakota ISD coaches. As you can see, none of our programs are the least bit intimidated by the new realignment. I cannot wait until August to see our Panthers and Wildcats back in action. And I'm sure I speak for you as well. Reporting for KOS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.